if it drops, we'll pause and restart. All right. Hello and welcome to episode four of the GA Gym Podcast. Uh, today we have a Donegal legend, the Carson Footballer, one of three Ulster Championships and one All Star and in All Ireland. Mark McHugh, good to have you. Thanks very much, and you're very welcome to Letter Kenny here. McHugh's recovery. Yeah, it's, uh, it's some space now. Um, I was just saying we came in into a lot of and I actually felt from Instagram and stuff, um, some spotlight. Yeah, yeah, I'm very happy with it. You know, that, uh, a lot of people in the group comment, they, did, they didn't think it was a big one of different videos, but it's just a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ideal spot, it's an ideal size for, say, teams there, maybe yes. 20 people coming in there, uh, 20 people coming in that can you know, do their do their rehab work and stuff like that while you use the facilities as well. So it's, um, no, no, I'm very happy the way it turned out today. So it was done. Very sportive moment while in about six weeks last year for myself, and I just had a vision of what, it, what the kind of thing I wanted, and uh, it just it was happy, it was happy the way it turned out. So thankfully, yeah, business is good, especially this time of year. But yeah, our championship up. coming up now, six six weeks, week in, week out, so teams need to recover. But it's not just football; day, it's it's all different yeah. different sports. You have triathlons, runners in here, you have cyclists, you have Irish dancers, you have um, you have just you can play the different. Uh, Different sports, say soccer, but hard to be in here. A lot of running all team use it quite, quite, quite frequently. So it's, uh, it's, it's all good. It's good. And, and what kind of led you to, to get it started in the first place? Um, it's funny. Uh, I mean, we were away at a training camp last year for running all up in Belfast. Uh, I think people might actually remember the first thing they were thinking about Joe Robbie was up in training or something like that. Or there right. a, a row with the steward official up there that he wouldn't like Joe Robbie maybe in the <laughs> session or some people that watch the session. But, that was the that was the training camp we were on, and um, our physio Kehal had uh, rented the two or three different compression boots um, for the weekend for you know just for recovery. And yeah. I'd never you know I'd seen pictures and stuff like them on, uh, on, on on online and stuff, but I never kept kind of using them. So I went on and said, "Do a great job, you know." And you yeah. know, uh, just quite Kehal about the cost of and stuff like that. Do you know this could be, it'd be good for some man? You know, by four or five pairs of them saying they started renting them to clubs or something like that and uh, so it was just stuck in my mind maybe for a week or two and then the following week I remember I got a, a shot in the leg or something with a dead leg and I would always use the hyperfocal ice bath at the better kid in the world centre yeah. so I rang up the boys and said this is the mark where actually it's, it's, not, it's not working but I just it's, it's down there but I'm, I'm not using it and I couldn't find an ice bath uh, in the better kid or a funny ball in there like, and I was like, right, that's now that you might race again. And I said, um, you know, uh, what if you, you know, got, got a nice bath, you know, maybe you've got, you've got a few different bits and pieces and offer them in one room and have it just a recovery centre because there's nothing really like it. You know, about, especially in the Northwest. You know, I hadn't looked into it now. I'd seen one up in uh, Colombo and uh, uh, I just I went up to visit that place and I met the boy, I'd just seen it. And, this is the thing, it's which everyone that I can hear, we get spot for. So then again, this is my mind with racing for about two weeks, and just constantly on looking for products and stuff. And, uh, uh, and I actually bought the ice bath to go with it to stop yeah. competition because it's so. Uh, I don't know, it all happened in about six, seven weeks. He said I worked hard for that uh, in a few weeks, Ryan. Um, myself and Ryan worked hard for it. Just all came together and we opened just uh, the launch the launch day last year was actually the Tuesday after the final to come to the right. and the all team came out here with uh, Grosel to made a big bit of uh, video paper and stuff good. like that. It was a good way to get it up. Yeah. Definitely, definitely what's uh, what's it like running the business with your brother then? Ah it's 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 good crack eh? you know, when, when you get right into work it's hard sometimes to get into work. <laughs> um, but uh, no, no, listen, he's very busy, he's he started a new job uh, in car with another fella and uh, a lot of his time is taken up on that, so um, no, it's, um, it's, it's a bit of crack, you know, me and Ryan, uh, we, we, we get on reasonably well together. Um, 
and uh, not not not, not the <laughs> IDs are always the same all the time. Yeah. But uh, no, it's um, it's probably brought us brought us together, but closer. You know, working working together. But uh, so we've always had a good enough relationship growing up. And uh, ah, it's a bit of crack. We've got to, I mean, get them to work. We look more than we are. Right? Easier said than done. It's very it's, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> easier said than done. Yeah. Maybe he hears us now. Maybe he get a kick up the ass uh, or something. Like that. Do you not think it's it's amazing how over the past kind of years, even maybe even years probably, that recovery and how it is becoming so so important in, in Gaelic and sports in general? You know how it's it's it's, it's, it's it's an all sports. Uh, you know, recovery now is part and parcel of your training. You know, yeah. your train, training program. Um, it's funny, like I just say, I opened this, I opened this, you know, say ten years ago, nobody would. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it wasn't on anybody's radar. It wasn't recovery wasn't probably part of people's training. You know, maybe yeah. people might say after a hard change like we went to the beach, you know, we we'll go for a swim in the tide. You now you see these different, you know, hundred point uh, recovery plans where you can get hundred points in your day yeah. off just to get it. And you know, you can come in here for half an hour, you can get your hundred points recovery thing. So, um, it, it's just as I said, it's it's part and parcel of every day. Training regime, whether you're a, a you know a Jason Quigley in here last week, whether you're a boxer, where you're a, you know, a footballer, uh, where you're a runner, a cyclist, and this lady, you know, Irish dancers come in here, yeah. they're always in the field yeah. well. And it's, 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 it's good to know that you're not selling a um, fake product, you know, obviously, as long as you have a sold a lot of things, but you know, when you know what you're selling actually works, yeah. when you hear people walking, you know, I, I travel and work up here. Um, once, once a week, they come in and they get the and the week they don't do it or they miss it for some reason or another, the difference they find is also, you know, you know they're, they're, it sets them up for the week and it helps them after a big weekend. They usually come on Monday and after maybe a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, run the cycle, whatever they're doing. That just helps them so much. And they get together and they go and they the bottom. So, um, as I said, it's, it's, a, very, it's a very simple, some, some, simple process in here, but as I said, it works. So it's, it's you know, it's, it's well, I think it's only going to get bigger. I think mean, since I've opened this alone, there's the people, people on to me around the country. Uh, different sports people have been on to me about opening their own, and uh, it's just because you, know, you see them pop up all the yeah, time. Yeah. Anyway. I think now as well, people are people are doing training and cover on the same level, whereas before people would hammer away training and cover would be in the background. Whereas now it's you need to be fresh every week. You know, not then what's the point training so much? Ah, uh, well, you see, training tra is so demanding, it's so hard, it's um, so intense. So, you need to be ready for a intense session. Like, usually, you need to be ready for the game. Yeah. Now, you need to be ready for a training on a Tuesday night or a Thursday night or a weekend, whatever it may be. And um, if you're not ready, you're not going to be able to train at the highest level. It's so competitive, man. And that's, that's the thing, it's so competitive. And if you're not ready for that training, you know, you're going to slack it off, and management can see that. And, you know, maybe somebody else who is putting in the work and ready for it and just step up at any. Um, and it's, 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 it's just as I said, it's part, it's part and parcel now of, uh, you know, Folk Roman came in big time uh, way back. And that was the start of it, nearly. And then the band work and, and you know, the sweater and the, the order balls for your glutes. And, <coughs> you know, I just, I, I've seen it, you know, just develop from being involved in Tony Gall, develop over the years with different sets of conditioning coaches. And everybody brings something new to the table, but um, you know, if you can tell me we still over here and have the edge, like you know, yeah. you have that edge over your opponent that he's not doing it, it helps. everything helps. You know, you know training helps. It's and marginal gains, isn't it? It's just, just get them just, 1 everywhere. If you can get me 1% everywhere, yeah, they, add, they add up to the 10 15%. It might want you a game, it might want you a race, um, you know, it might, it might want you a whatever kind of sport whatever sport you're involved in. But um, no, as, as I said, 10 years ago, if you, if people would kind of laugh at you or looked at you, I would say, what, you know, recovery? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's not, you know, they just start going to the beach or icing, icing your legs or something like that. Um, was, was, was the same right though? Thing to do. I mean, if you, if you look, you know, and especially, I'm just taking into the need football teams uh, at the minute, there's every year, right, there's less and less um, hamstring injuries, yeah. calf injuries, groin injuries. And it's because of you know strength conditioning, it's mobility, it's recovery, and this all this as I said, them one percent, it's all leads to like yeah. way back ten years ago, uh, you went to the county session, there was five people on the line with with with, with yeah. and great, with housing tears, with with calf tears, whatever it may be. Yeah. And that's not happening now. If you get a bad injury like a 
and ligament or something, that's not muscle. So where recovery always helps muscle time. Muscle time. You know, the job you're in with your strength and condition. Mobility is now one of the biggest things uh, going. Like, uh, I remember, you see, when we started playing what I started playing in the ball back in 2010, but that's just the senior team, but long before that all their age. If your training was at 7 o'clock, you'd bolt up to the door at yeah. like quarter of 7, throw on the boots, kick, kick a few balls over the bar, yeah. and ready for your warm up. I mean, that doesn't happen. If you've trained at 7 o'clock now, you're nearly there at half 5, quarter of 6. You might get a rub from, from your masseuse. You go on the end, do your own band work, your own foam rolling, then it might be a collectively band, band what's, your, what's your strength and conditioning band, coach. Then you might do a video in that session, you know, yeah. you're doing a pre warm up then. Then you're out the field and you're ready to go because your muscles are, re- are ready and they're um, actively, actively working. Where, you know, I see so many times the managers used to hate it, but you go out cold at 10 to 7, start kicking balls from the 45s or even kicking 45s over the bar with a crossbar challenge, yeah. you end up sitting in your hamstring, you know. And it, it, listen, it goes the way it was and nobody kind of caught on to it, but it's just time has changed and you can just see it changing more involved, you know, as I, I've said to you before. GPS is now to tell people's load and how much they're actually working on the field uh, during the session or what they've done previously to that session and how much more they can pay. Yeah. And that, 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 that all leads up to 70 percent of the margins that everybody uses. Definitely, and I think like each year and each coach they all learn from it and, and every year the training gets more advanced and that understanding of the load gets more advanced and like before I come in uh, with Derry this year, I really don't understand all that. I don't see it. Sense, but it's, it's not used at all by clubs, and it's probably why club players get so injured. It's that management of the load. Yeah, exactly. But you know, like you know, top clubs now have strength and condition people, and you know, I'm on about the GPS systems. They're, they're very expensive, like yeah. so. Not every club can afford afford the luxury of having them, like the county teams. Um, but it, you know, but you I think know clubs, clubs are starting to learn. You know, we yeah. are we are getting their strength and condition by uh, the coach, and you know, and. He or she, and uh, or even nutritionist, or something yeah. like that. It's every wee bit. Like, I think where well, they're they're read really there a few weeks ago to Ferrari. Holy shit, may I ask you, Ethel down in Carrick House? Um, I was down a few days away there in the K Club, and I just went up to Carrick House for a day, and they were checking the week before the lineup. And I just read that morning, funny enough, I was chatting to the MGD at it, and uh, I think it was something like um, the 27th of back end, you know. You know so 28 and that's from coaches to dietitians to nutritionists to certain condition people to psychologists to everything and you know when, when, when the top team comes there doing that clubs have to learn you yeah. know club, 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 clubs will learn a wee bit and it will just take that time for it to develop and develop over years and you know hopefully say five years time you know we will all be there at that level yeah. especially the clubs you know money money probably is, is, is a big you know, I think information is getting more easily accessed now with, with internet. It doesn't take too much, it doesn't take a string addition to post it. You can a lot of information online if you want to research it. Like. Yeah, for the player, for the player themselves, you know, for a club player, say, uh, you know, if he doesn't know the ins and outs, it is very active as online, but there's nothing beats that yeah. person, uh, you know, coaching you and telling you how to do it right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, I was told as a young fella, hey, it was funny. People say practice makes perfect, but actually practice makes perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. So if you're actually practicing something that you're not doing right, that's the thing that's going to stick to yes, you. Yes. You know, and I wouldn't be, you know, I'm, I wouldn't be the best man ever in a gym. You know, uh, or do my gym sessions, but I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, you know, a, a, a bulky man. And I don't, I didn't really like the gym because I wouldn't. Uh, but uh, for years I was doing it wrong. Yeah. You know, until so somebody came in and showed me and stuck with me that I was doing it wrong for some reason I wasn't going on muscle or something like that. So you need you need that in a show uh, it helps you buy it. It helps you buy it. And, and you know what, it's more important. You know, like, you know, it's, it's, it's very hard for somebody there, you know, to, to do to go research what the gym and then think about it all where see somebody there like yourself. It makes a big difference. You know, helping helping out is definitely helping. Yeah. I think that's like the this recovery and the training which have not the same of how professional everything's going. Take that back whenever you came in. Did you only go how how different was it whenever you started on the golf to the way it is kinda now up to that season like in terms of training? Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we, we obviously get a couple maybe it's professional at the minute. Um, 
no more so than I said about the, the training there when, when I started first, you might arrive at quarter to seven, like that's not happening no more. You yeah. if you've trained at seven o'clock, you're um, you're there from about half five on to get your you know your your, your stuff done before uh, before the period of dinner. You're training for two hours, you might have a meeting afterwards and it's you know it's it's, it's, it's half your day out of it. You know, I was walking on the road last year and if you'd have been training you know training at seven o'clock you'd be coming at half five, I was travelling maybe if it was a slide work on and travel an hour and a half just so you finish up your day and you truly had a good dinner on your first yeah. because you know for you if you're going to really you know you pick uh, extreme, extreme energy uh, dinner. so you need a good dinner and you're finished maybe about three and a half three so uh, you're heading straight to training yeah. so it's it's very demanding like you know it's it's, it's football and the rugby football we've got like, you know yeah you make it your life and uh, that's that's just the way the way it's gone and, you know, it's it's good to see that yeah, it's going it's going that way because it's, it's making for better, better, better athletes, better, better training. Yeah. But you know, on the, on the, on the opposite side, then when you have so many, you know, maybe so many other commitments going on, you might have a young family, you might have you know different different issues. Um, it's up a lot of time. You know, say, you know, last year for example, one day you might have a gym session in the morning. Uh, we'll wait for your days of work. You know, it's. Tuesday then you do days work into training. So you're doing something nearly every day, you know, on Friday then is nearly a recovery day and you're doing something on a Saturday something. And just logistically where I where I'm from, like we're in Larry Kenny and then I'm there and I'm Larry Kenny, we're there to the car. Yeah. So usually two is based around Larry Kenny. Yeah. So if you take that an hour and a half out an hour and a half back, that's two hours every day already. Yeah. You know, so just you know, not enough many hours to take to to support it if you want to get other things done. But but that's football, you know, uh, that's that's the way it's gone. People, people love it, and you know, other people then might not have time for it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, especially I think in the smaller companies, you'll see in the next few years more and more people not making fit to come up to it yeah. because of that, because of the commitment. It's a lot. Like, it's a lot, I, and, and to succeed, you have to commit like that because yeah. you see Dublin doing it, you see the top teams doing it, and if you don't do it, you fall behind your head. You know, and that's just the, the, the way the way it is. Is that that schedule? Is that kind of one of the reasons why you, you took break from the panel last year? Yeah, it's it's that's a, it's, it's it's one of it's one of one of a few different reasons. Um, uh, but probably mainly it's in, in, for the time consuming, the pressure is off. You know, as I said, having a sweet business here, having a small um, small boy at home, Noah, and uh, you know, he's a maniac. He wants attention. You know, yeah. I think at this time of life, you know. Man, and you just like to be there for it to see it. And as I said, you do something every day, and um, don't go and just, just taking up time. Uh, obviously, I, um, you know, I wasn't starting all the time, and it was just getting to me, and I was feeling back down. Like, and it's, it's hard when you're there, and you know, I'm probably being a bit selfish as well. Like, I have had a few medals in my back pocket, and you know, it's just that was just the time now, you know, to maybe finish up, and you know, I, I met with the management team. And Hard feelings, and I just told them where I was at. That was it, you know. So yeah. move on, and I'm a Donegal supporter, and I do a little bit of work in the media for the Donegal games, yeah. which I enjoy. But you're there sporting on, obviously, with Ryan, Ryan playing, and you're still, you're still hung yeah. out, you know. And that's the thing, I think anybody that ever has played football for, 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 for their county, they never, they never stop being involved or doing yeah. something, you know. Uh, but you never, you, you never know down the line how you may be a of coach. Uh, I got involved actually. This year with the country minor team, and you know, I was asked then for a few training sessions there and then like for the morning game, and that's something you like too, to you know, yeah. give back as well. It's only golf football would be great to me, like, you know, it's given me a lot. And uh, you know, I love I love playing for them, but um, you know, time 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 moves on. I said I turned 29 last week, not 30 yet, but um, I still do a job, yeah. yeah well, you never know, I, uh, I don't know, that's not my that's enough for me to say, but um, just time time moves on for everything. Really. You have a young family and you run your business and have your day job. It's, it's just hard to find that time. Yeah. There's just not enough hours in the day. Should be honest yeah, with you. I can imagine. Has it been? Has it been hard watching? Like, is it probably something you haven't been used to? So much of your life has been playing for the Has it been hard watching? Uh, it's, it's, it's been hard watching games. Yeah, I'm not saying hard watching. I was, I was doing co commentary for a lot of the games. I was co commentary for the also final, and I was doing uh, work for the Mayo game and. the uh, Game and a carry game, and uh, your mind's going to take it off you in that end. But 
not to say what's the final day. And uh, doing against Kerry, even down to Castle Bar, you'd love to be out there. You know, you love yeah. to be with the lads. Uh, but I, I have to be honest to say it as well that that's the days you miss. I don't miss the money on the Saturday. Yeah, you know, that's, it's, that's, that's the best part of it. But. When you look at pros and cons, is I, I, yes, you miss the Sunday, but the Championship day is no, no more difference than you know anything. But the fact that you know when the good times come around. I don't know, Tuesday, the middle of January. And so there's a lead up to that. It's just there. And listen, that's, that's for everybody to, uh, that's for everybody for their own, for their own, for their own personal choice. And, yeah. you know, as I said, I love going to sport Donegal well, and, and, you know, I follow them maybe all the way up in the league. Um, and I was at every game, so I just, I don't even want to support it now. I don't want to do the best. Um, at this point, you're going to go like, they were going really well throughout the start of the season, just at this point the final game. What was your kind of thoughts all of Donegal season this year? Like seems like a lot of positives to take away from it though. Yeah, there's 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 positives, yeah, and there's 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 slightly negatives as well. Like we can do well as well. Um, as I said, I was at a few then games and just were losing to teams that you wouldn't expect Donegal to be losing mm-hmm. down to Tipperary could be. Yeah. The man beat us up here in Larry Kenny and you know then kind of things creep in and Showed maybe how important maybe Michael Murphy was on it all until he came back. You know, yeah. like really lifted the spirits, lifted, and we went on a we went on a great run. You know, we had a great game against Toronto. We just blew them out of the water, and uh, things were going well. And it's just it's just the way that the draw worked out for us. You know, we did we were very depleted against Kerry and, and Croker with our defence and our midfield. We still drew the game, but if we won that game, we didn't need to go down to Castle Bar. But yeah. if we had a fun game in Kerry, you might have beat them. And then you went down to Troll, or down to Mayo, could have rested a few players and been ready for it, but that's just the way it is. Um, we were ready for the all that day, there was no question about it. And we kind of got bullied in the first half of it. You know, Mayo's kind of a bogey team for us. You know, I got beat to Mayo a few times, it well the non time to them. Just the team that he all seemed to struggle with at the moment. Maybe it's I don't know some But this is should have been But even even at that, we still have chances to win the game. We didn't yeah. take it. Um, that's that's probably the most disappointing thing. Even you do have off days, you have off days in, uh, uh, in every sport, but you still have chances to win that game. And we, didn't, we just didn't take them. So I'm sure the boys will be along with their you know ground over that there. But um, you know they're professional to get back at it. It's a pretty you know, young side though as well, isn't it? Like, it is. Yeah. yeah. It's just Few probably boys that uh, are pushing on it. Um, yeah, it's a young, it's a young team. It's you know, a lot of a lot of talent. So it's, it's a very good county as well. So um, we players from all over, over, yeah. over the country. So it's it's good. And, uh, I see Declan Water was ratified again for next year this night, along with his backroom team, which is which is very good. At least you can keep that that together. Listen, the the way they're working, they're building towards something, you know. And, and we just you know it's two years in a row now we've got yeah. The same stage, you know, Tron beat us last year, Bob and Faye, and they all this year, just before that other final semi final stage. Be nice to get into it, but you know, it's you have brass, brass, brass tacks. I think playing this year now in Division 1 will help us again. Yeah. You know, it, you need them big games, you need them big teams that you know that you're coming up against in the championship. Yeah. So, I think all the last number of years, we had a great, great record against, say, the, the top five, top six, and that's just something to see uh, what we're going to get, get over. It gets on its middle day too over the past couple of years when it comes to the Ulster Championship. Playing uh, Division 4, Division 3, and then you go up against the Throne Lake. Like, it's, 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 it's a massive step up by for, for any team that you can play. It's one of the challenge matches you want to play in those games. But when it comes to the fact that it's the Championship against the Division 1 team, you need to have a little bit of experience. And yeah. it, it only takes that, takes that from playing against the, proper, uh, the, the better side to the same. Yeah. So to the goal, it's not going to be a long winter this year, though, if they're going into play division one football instead of going into play division one football. Um, one of the things I was really excited to chat about was that 2012 year. Um, as a fan watching, I thought like that team was playing the way the systems were put in. Like for me watching, I was being interested in coaching to see how systematic everything was. It was brilliant. So people can understand what was it like before McGuinness came in. You know. Compared to afterwards, like because you, you said I had a little bad loss to Armagh and McGinnis came in and everything seemed to change around. Now you've got all there, seemed to be on the up. What was it like before McGinnis came in? Like? Uh, well, I, to be fair, I was only in for 
probably half a year before the guys came out and wanted to regard it. So I, I didn't see the full extent of it. Like, um, I was playing number 21 on their gym. So what I knew was Jim McGuinness and the way he, that professionalism we talked yes. about earlier on, uh, that's what he brought. And I just think like, uh, it hadn't reached the senior team, you know, the, 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 the commitment of players and the commitment of, you know, folks in their lives, it just hadn't reached. Now, my debut was against Down in the championship, I came on and kicked the point and we took Down to extra time. Down, subsequently we went on to roll out the final last year, you know, we should have beat them. We yeah. should have beat them that day, but we didn't and that was hard to take. And then I just, the way the system was back then, I remember I think we had a seven week break right. until, um, until the man game across the bed. So, um, everybody came up. We took maybe a week or two it's back here at the club. And it was just like, you know, that you're out of Ulster Champs race. And that thing only all had one Ulster Champs, and that was a role every year. Yeah. So, the letters was far off. You know, nobody was like talking on letters. Right. And the chat was like Ulster Championships. So, once we're out of Ulster Championship race, it's very hard to get back up again. And now that man just, you know, the brush aside that day. It was, it was a, it was a, Low day, but then the Guinness came in and um, he said he brought that. You know, he's, 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 a, he's a spectacular man, he's done, like the way he, he could get to the bay and something, you know, um, and everybody bought into his, his system, as you say, his philosophy, and you know, what he wanted to do with any goal. I was on there a minute ago, but how all Ireland were so far off. Um, you know, that's the first thing that McGuinness has done, he was going to come in at the time. I was kind of around himself and, the and by, the, by the time you left, that would be thought you were going to work, you know, and that's just the way that yeah. the man he is, that the power he has, you know, uh, of talking, you know, and he's, um, he's, extremely, he's extremely good at it. He must have been, because like, as you said, I'm sure like, the only goal had him, was it, it was early 2000s, so during the semi-finals, before that, it's had him really been... The only goal had done reasonably well, you know, uh, you know I remember sporting as a young fella who would go back a lot, Ulster fight was, uh, against Armagh. Armagh seemed to be her bogey team, we lost the an Iron semi final. Yeah. And we got qualified with Dublin, we took them to a replay, and then we got bit on the replay. But they were, they, like, they were, uh, they, were, they, were they were, they were always there, there, but we never could get over the line. And that was the disappointing thing. And then in 2011, when he came back, the first step was to one last chance. Yeah. We hadn't won since 1992. That was a huge step from the goal. It made people believe again. It made people think, um, you know, uh, we can, we can win these things. We yeah. beat the best. We, we beat Toulon that year. Um, we beat Derry. We beat um, we beat Down in the in the Ulster final last year. No, it wasn't Down in the Ulster final. It was, it was Derry in the Ulster final last yeah. year. Down the following year. And it's just that, that you know, it's revigorating. We went up to play Kildare in 2011, and we had a great game. Cassidy scored a point yeah. at the end, and. We took double up to the rink, it was the best football we played that day, but it was a system, you know, it was yeah. systematic, it was a system we'd stuck to. And looking back, we should have won the game, we should have kicked off yeah. and won the game, but we didn't. And we learned from it to the following year, we, we, we advanced there the way we played, we took a more of attack, and he, you know, Vinny was shutting heavy scores, you know, before he came in. So we wanted to get that right first, yes. you know, st st stop up the defence, and uh, then the following year, brought in the attack and won, and he just, everybody was Great shape, and hey, um, the hunger that he, you know, he, he, he possessed in himself. Rory Ballard, who was out to get to the yeah. job, but you know, he was a big, he was a big involved as well. Maxi Corden, who was a video analyst, and the three of them, you know, worked really well together. And uh, you know, it was, a, it was a whole team, team, team performance. But you know, as I said, Jim was just the, that leader of the ship for Ronald Salter, he was at the lead, like, and um, I remember it was a Two years ago, I think Jim came out to give a give a talk to a team I was involved, and, and some of the boys knew had heard him before. Some boys didn't. I just simply said one of the boys that hadn't heard him, and uh, he left the room. He said, "No one use one of my lips." There's the right. That was just what he said. He left. That boy um, left the room. He was, you know, really different. From, but it's funny you say that because uh, my brother went to uh, school in Bali, and again, he came in before he was going to go all the way and coach up there. Uh, he, he, he managed to heal the team and um, they ended up winning all Ireland out but and before McGinnis came in I didn't know who he was and before I was at the time he was like, I'm going to go all the way and 
you got to know. Yeah, you, you got to, if you don't know him, you got to know him. Like, like, well, we'll, we'll see, and then she'll go now. We did. Um, a lot of those kind of made. There was, I was watching that Jimmy's one of the matches, and uh, Broly, you know, right there around, they said that some of the runs we were doing and, and the training we were doing was, was insane. And, and I think he quoted saying it was really now kind of a lifetime, is that, is that a wee bit uh, far fetched or was the training and really intensely? I didn't always bring down habits, as I said, I was only in the previous year anyway, so I hadn't really seen anything, but you know, I was just used to the way he had trained with London 21s. Mm -hmm. So that was the norm. So but that's that's basically you know the way football is now is young people are coming in and if the norm is that trade, that high level yeah. trade, you know, they just think it's normal. You know that's the way you have to do this, the way you have to live your life. You know, like the monkey, you're like an example. You know the way he does his life, the way he trains. Any young person trying to get a set up now will see that's the example. That's the example. Well, it's like, you know, it's just normal. You know, if he does it, everybody does it, and that's just the way it is. But uh, well, the training was tough, but I, as far as I was looking up, I was only, I was only 20, 21 at the time, and shaking an outfit, and uh, I was probably one of the, you know, the younger boys in, so I could run any all day long anyway, so the training was, it was, it was intense, it was hard, you know, it was all the how to you know, punch yourself, I enjoyed it, 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 it you know, and Rally, Rally, you know, it's a little boy, but I don't know, it's a Rally, you know, I never had a training session, no. I was just every but you didn't see it there, uh, but uh, uh, it, was, it was fun, but everybody wanted to be involved, you know, you wanted to be involved because it was, you know, if something, if something successful, you want to be involved in it, and that was just, it was a lucky time, you know, that you were there, that, that, that could have been, and you, you were blessed, that you were rest of the time that you came out and changed, probably, changed the whole football, and all you changed it all for the better. I didn't think Football, I think football in general changed yeah, after 2012. Yeah, you could be right. Yeah, yeah. Through systems, yeah. the truth, how physical, like, because I think whenever you just came in in those couple of seasons, you were that much stronger, that much better conditioned, and then that was the blueprint for every other team after. Yeah, 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 I think you're right, Dad. Yeah, um, it was probably the start of, start of the, the, you know, the training programs we were on about at the start, hey, and uh, yeah, he maybe you know, he led the way. Maybe we were lucky to be the first day because uh, yeah. um, everybody else got cuter. You know, you got the Dublin hey, back in 2014 with Donegal and Hamilton. That was probably the best thing ever happened to them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Jones always said yeah. that, but it's probably the best thing that ever happened to them because they got cuter. They changed their style of football, and now you know, they have they have lost the since. Could have lost it last weekend, but that was it. Uh, do you think they'll? Uh, do you think the uh, replay next week? I do, I do. I think too many of them, uh, the Dublin players played uh, poorly in the day. That just doesn't happen all the time. You know, yeah. somebody's going to step up. But I think Kerry definitely shows that they're a lot closer than people thought. Right. Which, is, which is good, which is good for football because, uh, you know, we kind of look better what Dublin have done, done, done for our days ago. We don't like play to see the one team there all the time. We look at the part of the championship for this. Yeah. So I think that when every year brings that more excitement. Where you start a year off and say, geez, it's not going to be right. And listen, there's probably there's a good chance, say, the next five All Ireland, I think there's one, three, or four. Yeah. Uh, but you know, it gives you that hope. As you know, as I say, twice when I train in January, now it gives you that hope that you, you never know. Yeah. You know, when something could happen where if a team is that far ahead, you're in January, you know, we really want to be doing this, like, because, you know, we're that far away here or something. So that's why I, I'd be just worrying a wee bit about you know, the smaller countries in Ireland. Um, and, and, you know, because they, to be fair, like, every county puts in the same commitment as the as other counties and the way they train. And uh, it's just what they need to train towards. And I think that's why they're all about you know, the, the, the different, different styles of challenge. Yeah. Two tiers of they have something to play for. And, um, you know, the sooner something's done about it, I think the better because the lack of losing, losing players. And, um, you know, losing, losing players and losing different parties all around. I think that gulf between the top teams and the other teams is getting bigger and bigger as it should. Well, that's the problem because, well, the finance, financially is probably a big, a big bearing on it. And then, you know, once, once you've had financial security in the bigger counties, uh, because you're getting gates, you're getting you know, sponsorships, um, you can afford to get like, to play to get the 27, 27 backroom team where you know, a smaller county doesn't have that much of the resources, so they're just going to fade away with a little bit of money. 
and um, until until that's fixed, that's only going to grow, in my opinion. You know, and um, but hopefully there there seems to be discussion that we'll grow back in um, you know, the last while. So you know, we'll just wait and see what happens. See what happens. Um, tracking back a bit to that 2012 year, even all there in the back pocket, like. What does that feel like? I have no idea what that's like. I'm sure most of people listen. Like, what does that feel like? It's, it's great. It's just, as I said, you're blessed to be involved. I mean, all just at that stage, you know. Um, you know, you're probably you look back now, and you're probably a wee bit disappointed if you don't win a lot. You know, it's we yeah. always want to get more. But to, to have it, yeah, it's it's it's, it's a blessing, like, you know. Uh, and of course, it's good. 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 Um, but uh, you know, it's 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 it's, 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 it's one man that tre- treasure for the rest of your life. You probably because you're still playing football now. You know, you may, you, you might not appreciate yeah. it as much as you want maybe in say ten, fifteen years ago when, when when the world goes up. Yeah. You know, you can tell about stories that happened or something like that. Um, you know, but it was, it was a huge, it was a huge moment in my life and all of the boys' life and the whole country. Yeah. Well, it was a lot of big session, right? But it was, um, it was just, it was, it was, it was uh, see the enjoyment on people's faces, like you know, um, and to see what it meant to people, you know, all the people that were actually the older yeah. generation, they might, they might have thought they'd never seen this day, you know, and that was what it meant to them, like you know, you were going about schools, and then you look like you know, maybe people that were sick or something like that, and they're open to see them. They, 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 Crying in front of you um, to see the off the sound of wires and the was in, it was just, just brilliant. Uh, you know, it's just a set of memories. The memories of Lebon, like we're up in there, and the kids are up there, me and dad, like, you know, right after the final was up. You know, there were never moments you, 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 you never thought you were lucky, and you're just lucky enough. You're lucky enough to be involved, you know, you're lucky enough that you you were know, somebody that, that, you know, was good enough to play for running all of the time, and which I've got faith. To me and uh, the rest of the boys, um, you know, they all bought it to that system you said, and it was, it was, it was great. Um, but you know, you'll probably look back in it and uh, a lot of a few years' time and think how good it actually was. Yeah. And, and, you know, if it's involved, you know, hopefully, you know, it'll be involved in one another one in the next few years. And you know, that can just, you know, we'll be, we'll be, able to, we'll be special as well. You know, we don't, we only two in our history. Just, uh, it's, 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 it's sad that we've you know, so many good teams and we haven't had, had more success yeah. and that and that and all that and say, but you know, they're, they're not easy. You know, I think most, most, most people will agree with me in that they're not easy one. So when you do one, well, when you have to enjoy it, and then, you know, it's something you have to do, actually. Right? Yeah. Do you ever think what things would be like if you didn't win all Ireland if that year hadn't happened? You would just think, yeah. Everything will be the same as it is now, or what do you think about that? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't believe we ever asked that question, but uh, it's, hard, it's hard to kind of say if you didn't want it. Um, I think with the way with, with Jim is, like, um, if we didn't want it that year, I think we would have won it. Yeah. You know, we had to the players, we had um, we had a manager, manager, manager structure that was typical the best in Ireland at the time. Um, it's only a matter of time, in my opinion. Like you know, if we didn't want it that year, we, you know, the fact that we didn't want it probably it's hard to read really the results without the things that we were against me and we'll still fight them. But if you hadn't won it, your know, hunger would still be there from the yeah. beginning, and it was just going to happen. You know, um, it's just this point we didn't want to win in 2014. Obviously, uh, we were so close. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's okay, we're there every day for. for I wasn't playing to the podium and went to America that year. That was, that was hard for me personally to, to watch that. But Ryan was involved, he was playing so well. Um, so it was, it was one of the you know, you know, you supporters. And uh, it, was, it was just heartbreaking to see that day, to see all the lads, you know, the club that's right, the club that's right, and stuff like that. You know, there's something about him that they deserve, they deserve all our medals. Yeah, people say he deserves all our medals, but they deserve it. We have to go to the as well. So, yeah. But hopefully, the, 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 the players are going to go off the man uh, for the next four or five years. 
the public get back to the division of water and the other thing to do. Often at the expense of the train. Well, we have very high level pay, we can see how there is no progress in any step of the year, but it's uh, zero dollars taken over and retired there. I do the second of the world, and uh, I do not, not bad say I got into top, top class coach. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, listen, it's, it's, it's G. Everybody, you know, you be, if you're lucky enough to play in a, in a, in a, in a game like that, you know, you're normal. You'd grew up and play with your club. So that's 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 that. that, 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 that G. I love playing with my club. You know, we're lucky enough to come out of cars. You know, we've been there. We've been successful. You know, two years ago in the, in the championship, and, you know, it's just it's happened now. We're playing championships again, so we're hoping for another year like that. Um, there's, there's a lot of tasks in the next few sections for the year to So I, I love playing with my guy. I love, you know, it's, I mean, it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's the grassroots, it's, you know, it's people that people speak of it. And for me, you can talk to my guy, but people say, yeah, I don't think I'll ever move from. Yeah. Even anyway, because it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's where you grew up, it's where all your best friends are. And, you know, to play for them all is a, a, a Playing them all in the finals, it's a privilege and you're blessed to be able to win. The thing that comes around every once is to be in a high time where you're, you know, you play your club at the weekend and you see people who make you feel big. It's just it's the way the day is. Like, um, uh, it's just not, you know, you let, let them be over. You, you take them for what they what they must have at the time. You have the memories of them. You know, but it's, 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 it's like you're playing for your club. Yeah. Well, fortunately, he's our he's our going well. Um, won the league this year, you're saying, and uh, won the championship. Was it uh, two years ago? Two years ago. Yeah. Um, I like it. It's supposed to be blessed that you are playing still in really high level games each week too. Ah, that's it. I think you know it's one thing when it's supposed to be another part of maybe decision to step away from the ball this year. I was lucky enough to come back to the club. If it's a high level team as well, so you're. So that was, you know, help for me and uh, it turned out to be very good for the you know, before, obviously last year, you know, we won the hearts of a lot of people and we went back to the Ireland semi-final, you know, which we were in trouble for them in Donegal, but, um, you know, that's the best plan to grass tags now this weekend when we started the championship. But, uh, they're probably the best in the league, and he came to the and the final, and the final, and the beat, so there's a lot of people here, and the team that are getting here, strong team, and the is always a strong team, and it's very good for the work of and I think we will still play in the first place, so the Donegal Champions are very, very different, we don't want to be in the league, we don't want to be in the league, we they're not easy one, so there's a lot of work over the next six weeks for, for whatever team is going to come in the top. So, but um, just the weather for the food that they play yeah. on. It's, you think you're playing in one day, but it's just the way they say. But I'm uh, looking forward to the next six weeks. You know, and, uh, it's, 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 good, it's good for us, we business here. You know, it's weekend we get It's weekend we get to play our championship. So, there's teams that, you know, every, every second day trying to get the cover to come to be ready for that shoot. <laughs> Um, a lot's probably made outside of Donegal about the state of the league. Cup football in Donegal, it's very defensive. Is it still like that, or it was more made of that than, than probably is actually? Uh, well, our, well, our fight two years ago was very defensive, like, but we didn't really work to play that way. We would have a lot of attacking flair in our team, so it's just maybe the way people set up against us, you know? Yeah. Uh, but it's no different, maybe that's the way they, they can figure out, they can, you know, maybe, you know, beat, beat, beat us. Um, 
I don't, I don't see, I don't read really too much on that, but that year in the Savage Island, mm -hmm. when we did the whole, you know, we, we had an impact display of my quality against some of those where we picked up some of the quality between 220 or something like that. You both forget them. So you know, I, it's just, it's, it's, you, you're going to, you're going to, like, football, football all the time, you become defensive, like, Kerry's defensive, Dublin's defensive, um, it's not just, it's not just a little ball or it's a hoster, it's, it's all over the place. We were up with Galway there where they came from. You know, Paddy went down to them and he, he structured the defensive system of them then. That then ball, we had maybe one, two hundred championships and got to know how that was. And um, you know, you have to you, you, you have to get you know, your platform for your football probably is your defensive structure. If you, if you stop and see them first and then and then try to follow them your other way, but no, I don't. Football at Donegal is 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 going to be be good. You know, as I said, there's probably four or five teams that you know, really think they're going to win the championship. So it's good that you know, you know, I'm not just saying uh, that you look at like Gary, for example, stuff. You know, what you know, so many in the yeah. past, and it's sometimes it's like Dublin. I'm saying that you know, it's just just great. You know, but you know, that team that they did, you know, I'm talking to them, it's not looking good. So um, yeah, we could be be good. I think there's. Um, I TV, TV car, or so a lot of club games now in the country too, which is, which is good for the, the general public. Uh, to get the season too. Like, I don't know what you guys are going to know, even there, right in England, probably going to Oba, and uh, Chilling, and Dan uh, Moore playing. Yeah. Too, and, you know, I've had a book bag, as you mentioned, to watch today, club football. It's good to see other you know, exactly. different different styles of play. And it's, you know, even, you go to a county match, you know, and it's, it's a different atmosphere than a club yeah. match, you know, there's no game, man. You know, and it's, it's, it's really intense stuff, you know, it's not about Jack, but it's obviously yeah. each other. Uh, so it's a different answer, but it's great to see, you know, it's a lot of just to watch it, but uh, aye, it's, it's a lovely thing, you know, to see people yeah. like that. Definitely. Um, playing for Qatar and, and, and playing for US teams in the goal, is it, I always wonder, is it hard whenever you've got a kind of famous father that's one of the two more I feel like you're always, always in the shadow, or always have to live up to something, or is it the way you thought about it? As I said, it's something you've thought about your whole life. Like, uh, growing up, you know, what really you meet anybody that like, remembers you, it's going to be something that's like, he's going to be a good player down here, he's going to be you know, good as your uncle James or something like that. But it, it never, never really felt the pressure to me. Like, you know, uh, only from our family, my dad, like, you know, he wouldn't be the player you were either. Like, you yeah. know, even though he could be coaching about the house or something like that, I see myself doing a wee bit of my youth book now. He's trying, you know, he's young, but you know, he just, from his experiences, you know, he kind of taught me and Ryan uh, a lot of stuff, you know. Uh, no way for that platform, you might not be at the level you were at. Uh, but that's when you know, as I said, it's the tools, but you have to work hard after that um, to, become, to become successful at the play for your point of view. But I, I said it was always, I'm not saying the shadow or something like that. Uh, just, it was probably, you know, 2011, 2012, like, for, you know, when I was younger, was, you know, when I was in the 21 or 9 or even the first year or two in Donegal, it was, you were seeing the papers, Mark McHugh somewhere, or, uh, but then around 2012, when you kind of made a good name for yourself, you know, yeah. and it was just, you know, Mark McHugh then, and that was at, uh, Maybe a bit of motivation too, like probably at times. It felt it was motivation. You know, we you know, both agree that we're lucky to have the type of family we have. But uh, and, you know, not a yeah. you know, it's you know, not a job of the journey. It's an knowledge of how to you know, just do you know, he, he, it all. You know, so it's you know, more like to get to somebody that has that as they want. You know, what I learned or want something yeah. in their life. You, know, you just take, take experience and learn it from. Um, all right, so they, they kind of finished up. I did a quick fire round, so we've done this with uh, Con on the last podcast. Okay. I think I know some of these anyway before I start, but uh, right. best GA moment? Hi, best GA moment would probably have to be the All Ireland 2012. It's quite okay. closely followed by one of the Champions League as well, so right. I think because that thing I said earlier on about one of the biggest wins, there's such a gap and there's such a relief in my life. Been so close for years we've been through it. Such a relief to one man, and you know, there's no more happier men than to be in 
It's funny, like any any player you chatted, it's played a county. Nearly always had the best one was was nearly a club championship. Nearly, as you know, I I remember after 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 the Donegal one, you I would be invited to walk around a lot of times, you know, to get like any younger age or senior different after or something like that. You would just be jealous of them. You know, if you especially with one of the teams that you met, I remember going to uh, uh, I remember going to. Uh, a Legion club actually, and they had won so many senior chaps in the last yeah. year. Somebody was just so jealous of me. <laughs> and the one, you know, they were saying to me that they're jealous of me, and I'm like, no, you're not. Yeah. Because it's, 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 uh, I spoke earlier on about how, club, how important the club is, and especially it's important to me. And I just, so you love water. And it's just that sense of water in 2017, and what you say was just so okay. good. Yeah. Uh, worst year in. My worst year was actually the previous year, in 2016, there was no penny time there. Yeah. Um, and we went in at 1-7 favourites of it. And we met like a lot of people. We met class, <laughs> we met class, we met class, we were inspired by my one day, I thought I should say. Um, it was a bad out day, like the day, and we got a goal early, we thought we got a goal early, and we just couldn't ever get back in the game, you know, and it's, you went into the game, such a shame, there was no more like nearly double than last week, and you went in 1-7 on. We were prepared, Dad was managing the team, and we just, you know, we probably took our eye off the ball, we didn't even show up yeah. day, and we didn't. And so, you know, we just, we, we, we played poorly, and it was sick, you know, some kid to the following year. Now, thankfully, the following year we won it, and that put it right, but I still have been with that game, like, you know, it's still, you know, what the second we said, we should have two for it. And, yeah, yeah, that's my worst year, but they have been playing the championship. Yeah. Best for you, I think. I kicked the point there a few, a few weeks ago in a couple match from the side late, late, fourth game. Uh, uh, yeah, probably that's probably the best score ever. Was it the, the connection side of the kicker? It was the side of the kicker. Uh, 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 it's probably the best, the best score of every kick. I don't know if it's the best score of every kick, but uh, it probably is. Uh, it was a you know, wet day like this. Uh-huh. We were level and we got the same ball away out under the hill. And, and, and there was no regret on it because. Nobody expected me to kick it in anyway. Uh-huh. And uh, it was the last of the games. So we missed it, it was a draw, and we won, and we scored yeah. a point. So I asked the lucky enough, but just caught it here as well. I kicked on the board staff, actually, outside the room. It's outside the room, it's outside the room. And uh, I kicked, uh, kicked on the board staff, and it's like 20 yards away. But now this one was lucky enough. And luckily, uh, I just did not score there, but I should have done it. I can't score ever kicked in. The most vital score, or, or, you know, looking that I ever scored was a fist of the point against Cork in the yeah. 2012 semi final, where that put us ahead going into the half time, which was a huge score for us. Yeah, we worked so point. hard with that kind of momentum. So, looking at that, that was a big score at that time. Yeah. Uh, best, uh, best part in session after one? Oh, God. A lot. Uh, <laughs> best side, uh, you know, Best party in session. I suppose it was the week that involved the week that involved the week that the week that involved 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 the week that the week that involved 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 the week just because you're, you know, you're long with the body, you definitely want it the whole time to be in the bus. You know, you stop at these wee towns and go to the here, you're stopping the next time and go to the point there. And it's just, it's just a great crack there. I was tired and yeah. it. But, you know, it was, it was, it was fun. It was a good crack there. Yeah. Um, um, toughest opponent you marked? Toughest opponent? Um, yeah, there's, there's I would, I would always say the toughest opponent. I wouldn't be a white marker now, I like, but you know, somebody to mark me would be a player like so. Yeah. Uh, you know, I've already locked up as a player, and I'm sure we're going to be younger. 
Uh, final one. Best advice for any young players, or you know, is there any traits that you think the young players should try and develop? Whether that be uh, an attitude or a physical thing, you know? Uh, it's um, you know the, the, the biggest one I obviously is just listen, listen to the people in the room, listen to your coaches. Um, the other people have the best advice for you. Know, they, they, they're trying to make you a better player. Um, you know, um, always respect, respect, respect your mother. I suppose they're the people, as I said, they want to see you grow, especially when you're, when you're, when you're young. Listen to whatever they say they give you, maybe it's something so small or something so big. Um, you know, work hard. Uh, you, know, you may train twice a week for two hours, but whatever you do outside of that is more important to you. Uh, it's, it's your quality, whether it's a kick scores and you're going to be your own. Or Getting stronger as a defender, getting to the gym. Um, you know, people are always, you know, you know people, you know, everybody, everybody's good at something, you know, as in, everybody's good at something. I don't know if you're talking about football and anyway, you know, their strengths and their weakness, but just work mainly as a weakness, you know. Yeah. Um, I think having two feet in the game is massively important, especially for a forward, like you're so much more hard to mark. Yeah. You know, which way you're going up the like, you know, people don't know which way to get his heart. Uh, these two, these two start your feet. And you know, from a young age, that's the time to learn it because it comes more naturally to you. Yeah. You know, it's like playing the car when you're 18, if you can learn when you're dead, instead of the dead when you're 40, you're not more nervous. And, yeah. And it's just harder, it's harder to get to it off. So, you know, having, having, having two feet is very, very important. And like I said, just listen, 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 listen to people, listen to coaches. Um, finally, anyone that wants to get more information on the Q's cover room, where, where do you go to? Um, just you, you can get us on uh, Facebook at the Q's Recovery or on Instagram at the Q's Recovery, but we can post different, different stuff on the people behind and, and how to uh, you know, make a point and stuff like that to help us up online if you want to contact me uh, to make an appointment or just you know, to get you know, a message on the page or something like that. But, you know, it's, it's the recovery. It's a kind of relaxing. You know, it's, it's 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 a good it's a good hour of relaxing. I'm not saying this like fast relaxing. It's only ten minutes out of your life. No, it is painful. It's very very cool. I remember like it's, it's a great job after watching people just get up yeah. and see their faces. Some of them, like, people just kind of. I remember I had a couple of them once. They were maybe in the forties or something like that. Wasn't but like, what we do find it a little bit easier, probably for obvious reasons. Ah, uh -huh. uh, the men. Yeah. But uh, she, got, uh, she, she was shaking, you know, she was shaking, and uh, the man got in the the husband got in, and I'm not laying it. It was endless. <laughs> and, uh, like, oh God, I have no idea. And he was looking at me, you know, the wife looked at him, he said, What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Oh my God, you don't find that cold. And, and, and she says, I pushed out four of your wings. This is not very easy. I'm not very sure about that. He didn't even come back to that. You know, as I said, it's, 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 it's beneficial. Recovery, you know, you, you Google and you check it out. It will any any type of recovery suit for you. You know, you don't have to you don't have to come down here, you go to your, your beach and stuff like that, but it's, this this works as uh, as a as a process and we'll have you ready for that next next event you can do. You know, if you just want to come down here and say hello, maybe don't be don't be shy. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I think it was pretty good there. Uh, thanks very much, good having you on.